going gray in his beard, and he's yes. It's so funny because you. That's where it I starts. mean, there's no alternative. Exactly. So I was like, oh no, my gosh, preventative. Right. So I got it for as a yes. Christmas gift. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Well, my husband has been taking it religiously for the last, I think now almost two and a half years. And he had like 40 gray hairs and it's pretty much stayed at that. Um, no but way. He, his hair is like amazing. It's so thick and full and he's like borderline like thinks he should be a hair model. I'm like, oh my God, get over <laughs> yourself. Like this is, he, I've created a monster. He's so, so suave about his hair. But it's so interesting because most people think that the brand is just for women And it's not. It's about 35% of our customers are male um, because men care about going gray. (coughs) They they do. And it's like, I guess, you know, I guess I really never thought of it that way (laughs) Yeah. because I wasn't really concerned about it. And then he became concerned about it. And I was like, should I be concerned about it? (laughs) I know. I mean, uh, (laughs) that's good that you didn't feel that pressure because, you know, societally it is obviously less acceptable for women to go gray, unfortunately, than men. So men have like a little bit of tolerance for salt and pepper. My my business partner is a hairstylist, so he's intimately familiar with all psychodynamics of going gray. But it's like women, yes. it's like the zero yes. to five, ten percent is sort of like the tolerance level, and then they go to hair dye. With men, it's like, oh, okay, I can... I could be like a little salt and pepper and like huh. distinguished looking, but they don't want to go full Anderson Cooper. So they're like, how do I control this at this level? So it's very fascinating. Mm-hmm.